guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Now this is going to be a little bit of a weird video for a couple reasons. Uh, one, on the kitchen counter. You guys are going to see videos like this for a little bit uh, because of the move. Two, um, I was asked how I decide what kind of medium I want to put through my stencil. And honestly, I really didn't have a great answer for the person that asked me um, because, you know, you guys have heard me say it before, I am an emotional scrapbooker and whatever feels good is what I usually like to do. So I decided to pull out uh, a stencil. This is the February stencil of the month from Scrapping Reflections. And I would just kind of show, you know, what goes into it. So this is, I used this stencil um, already. It's already got some pink ink on it. So I pulled out pink things, right? And I guess you can't even see them. I, <laughs> I've got some chroma glaze. I've got chroma mist. I have glitter glaze and I have ink. Now, ink <laughs> is easy, right? Like you can literally just brush ink over your stencil and then voila you have your stenciled image right so this is definitely something that is probably the easiest and less messy way to add stuff to your papers with your stencil right like it's it's this so and man, I do love a good stencil reveal. Look at that. Okay, so easiest way, ink. Whether you use a blending brush, whether you use a foam dauber, um, you put your ink pad straight through the stencil, which I can't show you because I have no ink pads unpacked. Um, next, a really easy way to add uh, to your stencils is going to be spray right so whether it's a distress oxide spray whether it is a chroma mist whether it is a um mr huey if you have some from back in the day um any of your heidi swap your alt new any of those kind of inks or um sprays right i'm just shaking the heck out of mine because there's a lot of um sparkle now for this you if you if you do it close like you're going to get close up spray like that if you hold your thing up high and then you get high spray and it kind of goes out a little bit more now i don't have my ink box because i threw it out because i figured with the move and all the new boxes we'll have i will just be able to um do another one so normally what I would do if I spray through a stencil like that, I would pull the stencil off, tra-la, you get your awesome reveal, and then I would put another piece of paper on top of the stencil and pull a stencil print. So you have two um, papers, right? You have two ready to go. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to dry this off a little bit. And then show you so chroma glaze so chroma glaze is specifically made by brutus monroe it is a mixed media medium that will dry with a shine to it um, they also have velveteen glaze that is a mixed media medium that dries uh matte so of course you can also use modeling paste um whatever you want. Now you could do white modeling paste and tint it and you can tint it with paint, watercolor. I've tinted with aqua, not aqua, um, alcohol inks. And then you just like push on the stencil. And get it to go now you could leave a heavier hand like i did right there or you could like press in a little bit and then it you can see like there's a thinner amount 
of material there. Now, because this paper is wet under here where I sprayed, it's actually not sticking directly to the stencil, so I'm gonna have some stencil spill through. If stencil spill through drives you insane, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you use a completely dry um, piece of paper so you don't have to deal with that. Now, I also always do recommend that if you have a tool that you use for glitter glaze, that you use that only for glitter glaze. I just put this in the chroma mist because I wasn't paying attention, or the chroma glaze because I wasn't paying attention. But as you can see, there's still glitter on this sucker, and these have been washed. Well, I guess you can't because I'm not putting the camera right. Wash dried all of that stuff. So. Next is glitter glaze, and oh my word, this stuff has my heart. So with glitter glaze, you're just going to gently push it through your stencil. Now this glitter glaze, like the glaze is pretty much transparent, so you're just gonna get a very little bit of color through your stencil with your glitter. Now there are glitter glazes where the medium itself, I'm gonna go over this too, um, even though it's wet and I know that I'm gonna be able to get spill through, I'm just gonna go over it anyway. Um, Cause sometimes when you're playing around like this, you find the best, um, the best things. And then also you guys, this is something I do if I just wanna play with some products, I will take one stencil, one piece of paper, and a bunch of different products and just play with it. And this will be thrown away. It is not something that is an artwork. It is not something where I need to, you know, use it and frame it for prosperity's sake and all of that kind of stuff. Only thing this does is it allows me to have a play and see what my products are gonna do with that particular stencil. Because stencils have different size openings, um, stencils are different thickness of mylar. Um, I find that I like a little bit of a thicker mylar, which is what my stencils um, in the Scrapping Reflection Shop are. They are made out of a 10 mil mylar. So they're a little bit thicker and I think a little bit better quality because eventually mylar will, um, it will go bad. Like stencils will eventually go bad, eventually. Um, but if you use a thicker stencil and take care of them, they shouldn't. Um, they will discolor and stain and all of that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, this, is, this is what I do. I take a stencil, I play with it, and then I'm like, okay, yeah, I like that. Like I really like the ink and the chroma mist together. Like I like what it did there. Like I, I like the mixed medianess that happened. I'm not sure if you're actually getting all of this because of the lighting. I also really like the glitter glaze on top of it. Like that is a fun time to me. The chroma glaze is just a plain old chroma glaze. Um, I think it dolls what I did like it definitely dolls what I did um, with the sparkly bits, the chroma glaze on top of it, but this is wet. So now when this is dry, what I'll do is come back and look at it and be like, okay, so I really like the ink and the chroma mist together. So I'll, I'll put that in the back of my head. Um, I'm not normally a writer, a writer downer. Um, I'll put that in the back of my head and be like, man, I really like that. Um, or I'll say, man, and then if I want extra goodness, I'm going to add some glitter glaze to it because I absolutely adore the way this looks. And then I will say, mm, as of right now, we'll have to see once this dries, but I don't think I'm going to change my mind. I'll say, I don't like it with chroma mist on top of it because it really just takes all of that fancy, beautiful goodness that's all over here and just kind of blahs it. So I, I wouldn't do this. Um, but these are the kind of things that I like to do to just check out the products, how they're going to interact with each other, how they're going to go with my stencil. Um, and then doing this kind of thing, it just is kind of in the back of my mind. 
of what kind of things I want to do with my stencil. So I hope that answers um, some of the questions um, that I've been getting about how I choose my mediums for my stencil and how do I know what works. I don't know what works. Um, I just play and then figure it out. Um, Sometimes, and like I said, I said earlier that this will be thrown away. Sometimes when I play around with this, I end up with something that's pretty awesome and I'll use it. Um, and then sometimes I'll end up with something that's pretty awful and it gets ditched. Um, and then there are some times where I'm like, hmm, part of that looks good. Maybe I'll tear that off and use that part and trash that part. So you do have to kind of be okay to play with the products and expect that things are not always going to turn out. But that is the beauty of these kind of products, right? Like you play with them and keep going. And like, did I really waste that much product? No, I didn't do a full background with any of it. I just tried a little bit. So yeah, I do know I really, I really love this right here. This is, this is totally making me happy. So this is going to have to happen with um, a layout for sure. But you know, try your products. You can try mixing colors. Um, just try all the things. The only reason why I chose pink was because I already had pink on this stencil. So there it is, you guys. Let me know if you have any more questions uh, below or if you would like to see this video um, kind of redone when the lighting and um, I'm back in the scrap room. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.